What's up guys, Cabal here from Team Alias, here today to do a Command & Conquer 3 Kings Wrath video commentary, and to be honest, the only reason I'm doing a VOD today is because I was so, so bored today that I just got sick of watching, t I got sick of watching TV, I got sick of playing games, so why don't I do a VOD? So that's what I came in, this, that's what I came, that's what I came here for. This game, um, I seen it in advance, and um, it featured a game on Retropolis, which my last VOD was, on, was in it. And um, this game is against uh, Jesper KJ as Marta Kane and Jayo Panipi as Marta Kane on Team 1. And Team 2 is Diego and Dirty Dutch, both playing as random. And uh, Wilson K170, Trouble055, and Army Boys 11 are observing the game. So there we go. And um, that's Jasper. That's Jio Panopy, that's Diego, and that is Dirty Dutch. So Dirty Dutch seem to have drawn a GDI type of faction. Not sure if it's a GDI, Steel Talons, or Zocom. Well, I know what I know what the faction is, but uh, you will just have to wait to see. In the meantime, this is Diego, and we'll see what type of faction he had got. He got Confessor Cabals, so that means it's Black Hand. And if I mentioned this again, which is uh, it's um, Rectropolis. So uh, it looks like uh, Dirty Dutch is going to build a refinery, and he placed it right there. And you can tell by harvesters that. Um, he is steel talents, so that's good. Every time we try to figure out what, whose faction is what, if you're if you're against a GDI player, and you, you can just always look at his harvesters. Uh, GDI harvesters have those guns on them. Steel talents have heavy harvesters, and those Zocom harvesters are rocket harvesters. When you're playing against a non-faction, the way you can tell is infantry. So Black Hand it has Confessor Cabal squads, Nod has Milton squads, and Mark of Cain has those Awakened squads. And for screen, it's a little bit of a toss-up. But I'm too lazy to tell you about that. So right from the squad here from Dirty Dutch is going to go scout. And uh, there's a Confessor Cabal squad from Diego that has made it to the base. Not to the base, but uh, Eddie has a good vi has a good vision over here from uh, Jio Panopy's base. And what is he doing? He got a Awakened squad out, and I think he has a buggy to go along with it. What's Jasper doing? He is going for uh, another harvester. I think he, I think he doesn't have a scout, or maybe he did. Yeah, he did. Must have been um, attacking the Rifleman squad, which took a decent amount of damage. But now he's going to go back to Jasper's base to scout, and uh, that Confessor Cabal squad may be able to. Yeah, that took down the Awakened squad, but that buggy will finally clean them up, and that buggy from Jasper clean up those rest of those Rifleman squads. So both players, all four players, are doing excellent uh, anti scouting and scouting. But uh, Jai Panopy noticed that there's cause some bikes are coming in, and one of them is pretty badly damaged. So he knows that he beaked to his partner saying that, hey, there's bikes, watch out, build some defenses. So that's what Jasper doing. He's got two bikes of his own that'll be, hopefully, it'll be enough to protect it. And uh, Dirdesh, meanwhile, he's building some pit bulls. He's got uh, two refineries with three harvesters. He's probably going to be getting more, and he should be placing another power plant, then expanding over here. Diego, meanwhile, has got his refinery up, but where's his bikes? They're all the way down there, and they probably took out another bike that was probably Jio Panopy's bike. And he's beating to his partner, saying that the bikes are there. So it'll be interesting to see where they go attack, and they're probably going to go attack Jasper's base. Which, um, Jasper's base, where is the stuff? Well, there's one scorpion tank for defense, but that's not going to be enough. There's his forces, two scorpion tank, or two bikes and another scorpion tank. Those bikes have been chased back. That bike is pretty badly damaged, and this one is not too bad. Other two are full. And what are they going to attack? They're going to attack the uh, power plant. Might as well, though, because that's the only thing they can attack. They can't go in for harvesters because then, then they'll lose them. And stuff like that. So Jawa Panopy is expanded now at this expansion. And those bikes are going to be going away. Can that scorpion tank? Nope. Can't, can't get shot off. But maybe these bikes can. These bikes can probably take down that last... If they're focus fire correctly, they should be able to take that uh, debit bike down. And they do, but they, the last attack bike goes down. What's, o what's over there? Oh my god, five pit bulls from Dirty Dutch, and this Conyar is right there. Wow. Now he is still talented, so he's probably going to be going for some Titans or something. That'll be very, very interesting. And uh, Jaya Panopy is beaconing to his partner, saying that there's pit bulls coming in. Pit bulls are going to be attacking the Scorpion tanks. They're probably on a force move. And they should probably finish off that Scorpion tank, and one pit bull that goes down. And uh, Shredder turn, build and sell to get that uh, Awakened squad out. 
hope probably gonna start um amping some stuff bikes are back from Diego to do some harvester harassment and they do take a good number on that harvester but they're focus firing on that bike now and they do take it down now those bikes are probably gonna get out of there and uh, barracks has been placed out by your dirty Dutch and there's the war factory I was wondering where that was and he's probably gonna sell yes he did sell that one because he doesn't need it at his base so he should get in the war factory and he's uh, garrisoning the rock he's garrisoning these buildings with the rocket squads just in case that uh, giant panopy comes in with bikes or the or scorpion tanks and two and two bikes from a uh, from Diego have made into Joe uh, Joe base and they're doing some little bit of harvest harassment and since the um, or factory is right beside the refinery he's getting some free repairs and that's uh, awakened squad is gonna finish off these rest of these attack bikes I thought I would have thought they would have um, emptied the bike but he, then again if you empty the bike then the refinery will be emptied too so there is a flame tank there from from Diego, but uh, they're up against some military rocket squads, and, they, and if that flint tank gets a fire off, they should be able to take it down. Yes, they all do take it down. What's happening up there? Looks like a Dirty Dutch moved his MCV again, and this time it was closer up on the ridge, so then he can place structures, and um, he placed down a barracks, and he's garrisoning that bunker with uh, two rocket squads and a refinement squad. That's good, and he moved his coming again. This could be another, this could be a refinery or another war factory. We'll see. He has some titans, so uh, Jasper is in a little bit of trouble. He's got scorpion tanks for defense, but he has to watch out for the bunker so that those rocket squads can't uh, don't destroy his scorpion tanks. And sells that uh, war factory once the titan comes out, and he builds another war factory right on the ridge so that um, those titans can start walking all over the scorpion tanks or can start making attacks and defenses. Tier two up for Jasper, and he moves Conyard. He was he was going to attack. Um, or sorry, he was going to expand down here, but he's seen that uh, Dirty Dutch was there, so he went back up. And uh, Titan has been emped by the Awaken squads. I've seen in this game before that um, both Jero Panopy and Jasper used a lot of emp on against uh, Dirty Dutch and Dago's forces. What's happening up there? Oh, a flame tank just took out one of uh, Jero Panopy's uh, war factories, and now it's our um, harvester. She's using uh, the uh, refinery, and then uses the uh, upper center to block. But now the uh, flame tank is probably gonna get the war factory and. It just does barely back down here that uh, the, all the scorpion tanks have been destroyed now um uh, dirty Dutch is gonna start working on that harvester but uh, Jasper's at tier 3 so it should be seeing some obelisk defense very relatively soon and he uh, ledgers feels that to refinery what's over there it's a couple of flame tanks here from well three flame tanks three flame tanks and a couple of scorpion tanks so Diego really pushed his uh, flame tanks to the max he got like five on the field or something and did a decent amount of damage to, to John Panabee's base but John Panopy has some good economy down here, and they sh he should really finish off that flame tank just so he can get that. Um, he can save their refinery, and they do. And those scorpion tanks are going to be cleaned up as well. Uh, Dirty Dutch finally has uh, claimed his own expansion because his um, main field is almost right up. And that uh, Albus now is on. Albus now is finished, and the power plant build and sell. Get the Awakened Squad to amp all those Titans. And uh, Dirty Dutch now bringing in his Refire Rifleman squads to help deal with those um, Awakened Squads. Gonna make my sense. There's another power plant build and sell, and you're probably gonna get another amp off those titans. We'll see. Amp, 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 amp. Oh, and that's uh, well, there goes the amp, but the obelisk of light goes down. So now his partner's in trouble. But Jaya Panopy himself has teched it to tier three, and his power is down, so he's gonna have to do something about that. And there's another obelisk there from ja from Jasper, and once sh it takes two shots to kill. Excuse me, a Titan. Up here, we see that Dago is under attack by uh, Jaro Panopy's uh, Scorpion tanks, and he's doing some d good damage right there. And, and Jaro Panopy only had one uh, refinery, but he did lose its harvester, so that's massive. Back here, Jaro Panopy's base, we see that uh, Dirty Dutch is moved to his MCV again, and oh no, there's an obelisk of light placed down by Jaro Panopy right in front of the War Factory. But those Titans, meanwhile, are um, they can shoot over structures. Mean. Plus, the bunker is still full of those rockets, so they're going to do some damage right there. And another Titan comes out from Dirty Dutch, and the, that uh, Obelisk of Light may probably go down. That uh, Tiberium Trooper Squad, what was that? That was a sell-off from the Tier 2. It looks like maybe Jasper doesn't need it, but needs to watch out for the Crush. And, oh no, all those Tiberium Troopers just got crushed, and another Waking Squad goes down. Jasper, meanwhile, has placed a refinery inside his allies' base because he's out of Tiberium. He doesn't have an expansion. With the beacon, therefore, Dirty Dutch, meanwhile, it has lost a harvester, and now his harvest, and now a lot of his harvesters are under attack. Now, so one harvester goes down, mm, another one might go down. Oh, they lost that one scorpion tank to to, to um, force fire, uh, not force fire, um, but blah blah blah. 
friendly fire. That scorpion tank um, that is elite is elite status, but he needs to see if he can keep that alive to see if he can get it to heroic status. Over there, there's a double um, double obelisk of light from both John John Panopi and Jasper, and they, Dirty Dutch lost his uh, war factory, so now he's has no production structures whatsoever. And uh, Diego lost all of his scorpion tanks. And Johnny Panabri is free to finish off these two power plants to put uh, Dirty Dutch on low power. But in the meantime, Johnny Panabri is at low power because of the flame tank that was way over there. And that Terrorium Trooper squad is slowing it down. Plus the uh, Awakened squads are emptying it as it comes out unempt. So it needs, they need to uh, finish off that flame tank before it does any damage. What's opening up in the river? Another flame tank. Wow. Dur um... Yeah, I think Diego is really pushing his uh, flame tanks. They're doing, they've been doing great this game. They finished off uh, Gyro Panopi's entire main base, and now all he has left is just an expansion. But now he's got a scorpion tank and he's got an airfield, an air tower. So maybe some vertigos, because vertigos would do some would do so well against uh, against uh, flame tanks. But now this flame tank is at least status, and if it gets up any higher to heroic status, it's gonna suck for. Um, for both players, but now it looks like he's focus firing on uh, Jasper's refinery, but it does, but it goes down because of those scorpion tanks over there. The flame tank over there has been taken out. A couple of random units there, and Jar Panopy finished off the last of uh, Dirty Dutch's forces. Now Dirty Dutch has detected tier, tier two. He's got his airfield up, so maybe be building orcas. Jasper's in a little bit of trouble. His Carner is half health, but he has a temporary chemical plant, and the uh, Catalyst missile takes out uh, Dirty Dutch's. A refinery and two harvesters. Now he's at one and three now. One of them's almost dead. And uh, Diego helping out his ally by building up a hand of Nod. Infantry running in the Tiberium. That's not good. And whatever that was just got taken out by those pit bulls. Could have been a Tiberium vapor bomb, but I don't personally. I don't know. And that Tiberium chemical plant is still there. That was. I think that Tiber I think uh, Jasper what was going to use. Was going to use a Tiberium Vapor Bomb, or not, I'm not sure. Probably was. Because if he was using C Tiberium, which you already uh, used it, so it must have been Tiberium Vapor Bomb. But um, that. Looks like Tiberium Vapor Bomb was casted, but I think it was casted by J O Panopy instead. I'm not sure. I guess maybe uh, J O Panopy would. Uh, J O Panopy or uh, Jasper would correct me in the comments what the hell happened there. I know he used a Tiberium uh, Catalyst Missile and he used it to C Tiberium. But I think uh, maybe it was a mind drop or something. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, they'll correct me in the comments. Anyway, um, we see that uh, what is Diego doing? He's been t getting bikes out, but uh, what are they going to do against that obelisk of light? They're just it's just one shot and they die. And uh, some black hand squads are building up from uh, from Diego, but uh, he's he's been doing these. He's been going with his flame sounds all day, and now Joe Panami lost his tier three stru tier three d base defense and another amp amps that uh, flame tank and those spectre artillery. He's got four spectres, so that'll be good enough and takes out that flame tank. Are there gonna be are there any more flame tanks around the field? I don't see them, but I'll keep an eye on them. But uh, Joe Panami needs to, really needs to save these spectres, and they're stealth. He said Mark Kane, so they're stealth. Titan there, they're Titan there for uh, for a Dirty Dutch, and now that bunker has been taken out. It's full of that Tiberium chemical trooper and Dirty Dutch meanwhile was just trying to work on that construction yard but the Tiberium troopers are just slowly working on that uh, watchtower to take it down uh, Albusk of Light is still there for um, Jago Panopy and they're take, slowly taking damage with these rocket squads and Dur and uh, Diego meanwhile is he's got tier th for himself and already a, my, and already a Tiberium blast and took down Jago Panopy's uh, refinery and one a harvester of his own, or two harvesters maybe, and uh, Jasper also lost his refinery. But uh, Dirty Dutch now, meanwhile, he has no production structures. Again, he lost his airfield because of that uh, vapor, vapor, vapor bomb attack, and now Jasper is getting out enlightened, and they do have the uh, cybernetic legs. So where is the secret shrine? There it is. So he does have cybernetic legs, which will help his um, uh, saboteurs and his uh, enlightened go a little bit faster than usual, and now Dirty Dutch is taking damage from his construction yard because of the Spectre artilleries. And what is he going to do? Uh, Diego's bikes are coming straight into the base to induce some harvester harassment. And oh, that harvester is almost dead, and it goes and it goes down. And oh no, those uh, har harvesters from jo from uh, Jasper are caught out of position, and they're they're trying to steal Tiberium, but they got they got caught up by those bikes. And one harvester goes down. Two harvesters goes down. 
three harvesters go down. Oh no, that just hurts. Infantry fighting type infantry, and there's another flame tank here from Diego. So that's like what ten flame tanks or something in this game. That is massive. Obelisk of Light has been placed down by Geo by uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Diego to help out Azalea, but his extraction is being emped, and I think this will probably be the end for Dirty Dutch because he's Karner is being consistently emped by these enlightened. And what's he gonna do against the Spectre Artillery? Oh no, those bikes have been coming in and they took down one uh, step vector. But they gotta get out of there because Geopi has some Scorpion tanks to help defend. And that construction here is almost dead. Might as well. It's, and uh, trying to pair any sells up for $100, but I think this is the end. Yep, that's the end for Dirty Dutch. So, GG to Dirty Dutch. He has been defeated. So now it's a back to a 2v1. And uh, Blast there from the Waken completely misses the. Uh, bikes, but uh, Diego meanwhile he needs to do something because he's not gonna It looks like he's building bikes So he looks like he's doing some harvester harassment, which is a good idea and those flame tanks are just so medicine I mean they've been causing a ton of damage this game and there's two more flame tanks and they're gonna go for the tier two And they're probably gonna take it out as well, and they're on a force movement. Oh, no, then it's one uh, flame tank got sniped by that obelisk so Joe so uh, Diego needs to be really careful that he doesn't uh, get too close to those obelisks Otherwise he's gonna destroy him so uh, operation center went down another power plant went down and those scorpion tanks are coming in. Oh no, uh, Ted Baron Vade detonation on GOP's Ted Baron field. And oh no, this oh, this is this really hurts. Oh man, that destroyed half of GOP's scorpion tanks and a good chunk of his base also. But um, I completely missed this. That uh, just Jasper moved his construction yard to um, uh, the open green Ted Baron field that Duty Dutch was going to get, but he but he ended up going for. Um, Cheese built, which didn't work out so well. And now Java Panopy is moving his MCV to um, a Dirty Dutch's expansion, which got, got taken out relatively early in the game. Now, uh, those we have seen some bikes here from Diego going around the back to see if they can get spot a couple of harvesters, of which there is none up here. But oh, they may, they may be able to get this one if, if uh, Diego's paying attention. You can probably snipe this one out. And he does, and he's going to get it, and that's just, um, Joe Panopy not uh, paying attention to those attack bikes. Snipe down a harvester, but how many harvesters does Joe Panopy have left? Just two. That's it. Oh no, three, sorry. And those uh, bikes are going around the back to his, around the back towards, um, uh, Jasper's first base, but uh, he only has one harvester there, but there's the uh, obelisk base defense there, so that'll be good. And a Redeemer engineering facility out for, um, for Diego, and he looks like he's building the Redeemer. And he should be really careful because um, throughout this entire game, the um, EMP from those Enlightened and those Awakened squads, both from Jawa Panopy and for Jasper, have been doing really, really well for for them all game. So if he's going to build a Redeemer, he's going to have to build some. He's going to have to get some supporting units as well to help take care of those uh, Awakened squads. C case in point, if you don't have some support for your Redeemer, then it's just why well, build it. Why not build just a shit ton of buggies and then just destroy it? Lane squads taking out a couple of bikes. They were emped before. Now they're bringing to be destroyed. Actually, another harvester went down for a Java Panopy, so that's not that's not good. Now, now one harvester is out for Java Panopy at expansion, but the Redeemer is out and what's being attacked? It looks like Java Panopy put in a, just a, just one rocket squad into the into these two structures. And he even put three in the structures to attack the uh, tech lab. So I don't think uh, Diego knows about this, but he's a, his tier three is being attacked and he's focused on getting these couple of buildings out of the base. But he did lose one harvester and now the Redeemer is under attack. And now he's attacking the one that's atta he's attacking the tech lab that's um, or attacking the building that's attacking the tech lab. And Joe Panabee is bringing in three attack bikes to help out to finish this tech lab. And I think they will destroy it. Because the redeemer fires so slowly, and just that just that last minute, the obelisk has been uh, placed down. But uh, focus fire, finish off the tech lab. Awesome. Tier two back up for now for uh, Diego, but he lost his tier three, so no more uh, pure fires or anything like that. Short turn's been placed up because of that black hand squad is just right at his base. What's over there? at Garrison structures being under attack by uh, Joe, Joe Panopy's Spectre artilleries. And they've been doing pretty well this game. They destroyed uh, Dirty Dutch's construction yard. Well, not destroy it completely. I mean, Dirty Dutch sold it after got 100 credits back and then just completely quit the game. But he's rebuilding his Scorpion tank, and there's uh, quite a few of them. And when, when they go in for an attack, 
They're going to do some serious damage. These rocket squads are from J Jasper J. Are from, J are from Jasper. And they're running away from that uh, Redeemer because it has that flame upgrade on it. Put one Black Hand Squad in there. He's, he's probably going to put another Black Hand Squad in there because I don't see an Engineer coming out. So those um, infantry... And they also have that uh, Tiberian infusion, so they they can send a Tiberium all they want, and they won't uh, and they won't hurt them. Enlighten down here. So now uh, Joe Panopi is beaconing, saying that the Redeemer is coming towards his base, and time for the Imp. I guess there's an Awakened squad, and it Imps the Redeemer head on. So now here comes the Scorpion tanks, and here comes the Spectre artillery is going to start firing on the Redeemer, and uh, this is what I'm talking about. No support. From for the Redeemer. I mean, here comes the bikes, but what are they going to do against the Scorpion tanks? They're just going to go for some Harvester harassment, and those Harvesters are just getting attacked consistently, but the Redeemer now is, um, took a little, it's a little over half health, but you're going to the Rage Generator, and now the Scorpion tanks are going to start firing on each other before before they start finishing off the bikes, and they don't have tip core, so that's not a, that's not a problem. And uh-oh, Diego's MCV is under attack by, uh, Joe, by, by Jasper's forces, and he's bringing in a Saboteur, and this, I don't think uh, Diego knows about this, but he's too focused on his Redeemer, and his forces are just microing on the force. There's, there goes another Harvester, and oh no, I think Jasper has captured Diego's construction yard of operations. Oh man, that's badass right there, man. And oh no, Joe Panopi just fired a bunch of uh, rounds on his own tanks, and lost three Scorpion tanks. Yeesh. But uh, what is uh, Joe Panopi going to do? He's, he's going to build more Scorpion tanks. He's going to be all right. But in the meantime, Jasper has captured Diego's construction yard. So now he has now he has uh, black hand units. But I'm not sure if he's going to build anything because he doesn't have the money. But he's now building beam cannons. And he, he got another engineer in there. Which uh, brought the MCV back up to health. Brought the, brought the MCV back up to uh, full health. And the operation center is under attack by uh, Jasper. And he sold it off for not for he sold it off because he obviously he can't save that. But the redeemer is back at his base now, and it's being attacked by the by the beam cannon. And this this construction, I can't believe. Um, I would have thought that uh, Jasper would have sold that construction to get to get some money because he only has uh, four harvesters, and that's okay. Just infantry over there, and. Uh, Infantry, I guess, was in that garrison, so I'm sure, but chemical troopers and sold it off for $800 or something, 850 bucks. And now the rage generator goes off, and what's going to be attacking those those uh, chemical troopers are going to start firing on each other, as well as the rocket squads. And another uh, imp on those on that redeemer by the Yellow Lighten. So this imp, this entire game has been like emping units, and it, they've been doing really, really well. I know that Jasper is a good uh, Mark of Cain player. I play I played with him before, and he's used Mark of Cain relatively well and uh, Joe Panopy whoops Joe Panopy I played with him in in 2v2s and he's just and he's a good all-around um, random player especially good with Scrim the Redeemer is under attack now and those beam cannons are just making the Redeemer Redeemer's job even harder than it's supposed to be plus those venoms and even the uh, enlightened or not the enlightened even the Tiberium Troopers are slowing the Redeemer down and I think it's gonna get amped again if those um and then they're going to get closer. That's probably going to end, but no, they're not going to end. But oh, there's no point. The uh, Tiberium Chemical Troopers are slowing down the Redeemer, and there goes the Redeemer. So those beam, there's four beam cannons on the field for Jasper now. One of them is veteran for killing that Redeemer. And that uh, Spectre Artillery finished off the last of the structure. So this probably should be the end for Diego because he doesn't have anything left. He doesn't have a con yard, and whatever this is, it's uh, no no point in coming out and. What's that? Oh, it's another construction yard, but he needs to deploy it really quickly because there's an Enlightened there. And uh, Joe Panopi's beaconing saying that there's an MCV over there, so he needs to amp it right now. And he does amp it, and oh, it does. It can't deploy because of this last bit of type room crystals there. And oh no, there goes the cell. There is a cell redeemer, and I don't think that um, Diego won't, won't be able to sell this MCV. It's it's it, it's too late. And then there goes it's out of the amp now, but it's being attacked by all sides, and it goes down and oh no so there's a fire sale that is it Diego's been defeated so good job to uh, Jasper KJ and uh, Joe Panopy for winning the match there impressive win for them I'd say skip all this crap so for unit staff, it's uh, Diego's been on top of it pretty much all game because he had those Confessor Cabal squads. 
and they've been he's been going up. Structures, it was the same thing for Diego. It's he had more structures because he because he he wasn't getting attacked all that much. He was using a lot of flame tanks. Oh, and speaking of which, those flame tanks did a ton of damage to Jao Canopy's base. And they're just like attacking him constantly. And Diego had an answer for everything. He destroyed him. All the all the flame tanks. And Dirty, Dirty Dutch, meanwhile, he had that uh, cheese build, and it, wor it was it was working against uh, Jasper. But uh, once he got that, once uh, Jasper got that tier three base defenses and Joe Panopy helping him out, there was no way in hell that uh, Dirty Dutch would uh, stand up to that. So for as for resources, it was Joe Panopy all the way, followed by Diego, and then uh, let's see. I think Dirty Dutch was had a little more economy than Jasper J than Jasper. But then when Jasper got that um, expansion, because your Dutch would been defeated back then for stats. Let's let's take a look at uh, team one was uh, Jas was uh, Jasper it Jasper Kajay and uh, Joe Panopy was a 1.4 kill to death ratio with the most favorite unit Scorpion tank. And team two was attack bikes Dirty Dutch and uh, Diego. And let's see, it was 177,493 to team one and 137,470 to team two. So that's uh, math five. That's eight. Four thousand. Forty-four thousand difference. Yeah, something like that. Three. Little over four thousand difference. I don't know. Too. I'm too lazy to figure out that crap. And green zero does. Green zero does it very well though, because his math is good. My my math my math is good too. It's it's just that. I averaged a B plus in math. I'm just too lazy to do it. My favorite, my favorite, um, what was my favorite uh, thing in math? I think it was trigonometry. I was uh, a big fan of. Yeah, I did did really well in that unit. But that, pff, talk about math. That's that, that's my personal life. You guys don't want to know about that. I gra graduated high school. I play King's Wrath. I'm such a a nerd. That's me. Okay. So enough, enough of this crap. So, so good job to Team One, Jasper KJ and uh, Joe, B Joe Panami for winning that uh, survival game. And uh, hope you all enjoyed that vod. My name's Cabal, and I'll see you guys next time.